entire area has a lot of history. Um, a lot of uh, commerce uh, came by way of the Singapore River back in the past from the 18th century, 19th century to, to I think early 80s in Singapore. Okay, if we were to go back about 40 years, the water was really filthy. Okay, but a good idea, uh, idea of a good afternoon of fun for kids is to jump into the filthy river and have fun. Hey everyone, welcome to this month's sketch walk at Liang Court. So that's Liang Court, the shopping center. Liang Court, Somerset, and Novotel have been around for a very long time. So the reason why we are here to draw is because those buildings are going to be demolished and redeveloped. So we're going to sketch these buildings today and keep them as memories in our sketchbooks. All right, I'm going to sketch from this location. I'm seated under a very nice shady spot and I can see the two tall buildings in front lit by very good sunlight today. And this area around Singapore River has been redeveloped quite significantly over the last few years. Forgotten to bring my clips to clip the pages, so the pages are flapping around. So, this was a pretty quick sketch, very loose, very sketchy. That's the pen I was drawing with, the pilot penmanship. I wanted to draw with thin lines today. Okay, done. I'm not sure how much time I took to paint this, but it took me significantly more time compared to drawing it with pen and ink. The sketchbook I'm using is the Strathmore Travel Journal, which has 300 GSM watercolor paper. The quality of the paper is excellent. And the colors that I use today Cerulean Blue Chromium, French Ultramarine, Burnt Sienna, New Gamboche, Quinacridon Red, and Yellow Ochre. Or is it raw sienna? I'm not too sure. The letters here are actually blue, so I may go home and correct it with my postcard marker. Or maybe I should just leave it as it is. Alright, that's still an hour before the show and tell, so let's go check out what we other sketchers are doing. What's the brush you are using? Oh, I'm using Oops. a rosemary dagger. Oh, looks very sharp. It's a travel brush. What's so. the difference between this brush and the round brush? Uh, I find it useful because uh, it has a sharp tip to do details like a rigor. 
Uh-huh. But at the same time, it's like a flat brush as well, so oh. you can cover larger surface areas. Oh, like a two-in-one brush. Yeah, it's like a two-in-one. Why do you have that little bottle there? This one? Yeah. It's uh, from a lab. Uh-huh. It's called Piseta. I used, I used to work in a lab, in a research lab. Oh. So they, it's uh, just to have a bunch of water with a little bit of pressure. Oh, but how do you use it to I, I, I just uh, spray it in the whole palette. I spray it like this. Oh, to make the... Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. The colors you use are very vibrant, very bold. What, what are those paints? Um, Is it watercolor? Gouache. Oh, gouache. Yeah. Okay. No wonder it's so bright. Just trying something new. <laughs> so you're not using watercolor today? No watercolor today. I'm just working on my pencil and my composition. trying very hard not to be so literal. So there's another group called Sunday Sketches. Uh, there are sketches on Sundays, of course. Okay, it's for people who usually have to work on a Saturday morning that cannot join us. All right, it's uh, led by uh, our friend Renhui over there. Wave to everybody, okay? Um, so uh, look out for that too, they also post it, uh, look for Sunday sketches, simple as that. Ask to be added and then you'll be kept uh, abreast about where they meet and the timings and everything. Okay, so we really encourage you to do that. Another thing we really encourage you to do is, uh, we like to let our art do the talking. Please take a photo or scan it or something and then post it on our Urban Sketches group timeline. All right, we really encourage you to do that. Uh, hi, I'm Russell. I have lived in Singapore for way too long. <laughs> and I sketch, as Patrick knows, once every three years. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that's going to change now. Now I'm going to um, come more often, so thank you for having me. Hi, I'm actually uh, here for the first time. I do urban sketching on my own, but uh, it's my first time joining you guys. Sorry, yeah, I'll come more often too. I'm an art teacher. Uh, but I am very new to watercolor. I literally just went for a whole long hallway uh, workshop in the, yeah, the past weekend. So I came here to kind of cool. like uh, come here and also get to know the community and learn from you. Yeah. It's going to help with the teaching, yeah, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's Grace. Nina here. Been here forever. So uh, I'm new to uh, urban sketches. So. I just wanted some khakis to paint with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chatty. Uh, I've just moved from the UK two months ago, so I'm really, really happy to have found like, a lovely art community. It's so friendly and it's amazing work. So it's just amazing work. Cool. Cool. Some of these prizes are actually from the goodie bags from the Urban Sketches Symposium in Amsterdam. You have to be around to win the prize. Okay, next winner, Natalie Ng. Fabian Lee! Woo! How many times have you won the Lucky Draw contest? I can't remember. I've been, I've been here for like 8 years already, so, so a few yeah, times. A few times. <laughs> you just have to enter your name and you can win. Because uh, for this particular giveaway contest, there were only 10 participants, so the, your chances yeah. of winning is very high. I actually wanted to draw another sketch, but I didn't have time. The first sketch took me way too long. So that's it for this month's sketchbox. See you guys in March. Bye.